So in this uh, video, uh, we'll try to see what exactly is the end unit testing and uh, how do we use uh, end unit testing which is fundamentally nothing but a unit testing framework for .NET applications in uh, Sharp Dialog. And when we are talking about .NET applications, we are specifically focusing on C Sharp. Okay. So let us see like what the outcome is associated with this video. So make sure by watching this video, uh, the participant will be able to understand how, what is end unit and uh, how he can use the end unit testing framework in Sharp Develop to test a small um, C Sharp code snippets. Code prerequisite to this hands-on session, I expect you know what are the fundamentals of C Sharp language and I expect you all to have a .NET framework installed on your machines compatible with your operating systems and we need a stable and latest sharp develop id so right now i'm using the one which is compatible to my machine uh, your machine could be anything it even a linux machine would do but uh, you need to have a different id is the configurations of that machine is all different so uh, let us do a hands-on here switch to sharp develop and uh, i don't have anything created as of now so i'll first create a small solution and i'll and that solution would be a console application and I'll name this solution as even odd. Okay. And I'll click on create and rest all parameters. I'll keep everything as a default here. So I will click create and I do have some collected. Let me clear this build output window and let me delete the, the template comments. So I'll increase the font here. The shortcut is hold the control and move up your scroll bar the control increases yes okay fine so i have the proper working font here okay maybe this is this is fine now here i won't need all this uh, stuff here so i'll just remove this and i'll just retain this console dot okay i'll even remove this because we we were not gonna execute that method we are not gonna ex execute the program and test it we're gonna test the working of method just by executing them through n unit so we have this methods and let's also write a methods here and for a quick ease of access in accessing those methods i'll make this method static so public static and return type would be boolean and the method name would be is even so the name itself is very self-explanatory the role of this method is to check whether the number which is passed to it is even or not so if I need to write a if code to check the condition for evenness and I'll write an else block here. Now you can recall that number mod two, if it is equal to zero, then the number is even. So let me put a bracket here. It's a good coding practice. So if number mod two equals zero means it's an even number. And if it is even, the function will return true. And if it is not, this will return false okay so i'll repeat the same code for okay so this is uh, to test whether the number is even or not remember when i'm saying a number is uh, this method's object to just return you true if the number is even whether it returns false whether it is or no we're gonna write a separate method for that one okay so let me just uh, quickly copy and paste and convert that method into is odd so now here instead of even i'll call is odd yes so when would be odd if this mod is equal to one if it is say after dividing by two if you have remainder one the number is odd and if it is not it's false so i have two different methods you pass a number to this method if the number is even it should return you true you pass a number to this odd if the number is odd it should return you true if it is not it it's, it's going to return you the other value which is false here in the both the cases Fine. So now I want to check uh, whether my definition is right or not. To, to, to check this, we have two ways. The one is to execute this method, provide few numbers, take a number from a user and make sure. But we are not going to do that. What we are interested in, we are interested in testing it with the help of unit testing framework. And here specifically it is n unit. So let us see how do I write a test cases to execute this method. And then we'll see like uh, how we can execute the test cases. So to add a test case to this, so select your solution, right click and click on add. Uh, okay, so now while add, there are multiple ways to add a new item. So I'll click on add an item. 
fine okay mm, so let me do one thing if it is not okay so do select the project not the solution select the solution so see that i am clicking here on even here on the the the, the project window the, the, this is a project window it's a solution right click on this click on add new item and here make sure you are selecting c sharp dialog here c sharp the moment you select here you will find a class called as unit test so i am i am moving my mouse over there this this is important that you select this unit test class and give a proper name to it i am going to call this as mm, even or test cases so you can always choose a proper name the extension would be dot cs remember even this is a cs file so i am clicking on create so let me clear clear the build output window here okay so now i have this uh, test cases you can see this was my program and this is a test case which i have automatically added i am increasing the font of this so let me remove this comments here okay so you can note that here it added the n unit framework this is what i was talking about it comes uh, with a .NET framework and with the help of this framework i can uh, test the test cases here now it it's it's uh, some kind of uh, boilerplate code generated for us when i wanted a test case to be generated so note down that both the classes belong to a same namespace both classes belong to same namespace here i have a class name event or test cases and this lets this this annotation here this specifically tells the dot net uh, environment that this class is a test case it is meant to be executed as a testing uh, under n unit framework uh, which comes with dot net so this is not as something a main application or library which can be loaded or executed and here this exactly is a test case which lets me write my assertions so here in a test cases in n unit form if, if you want to test whether the method is working or not we are we are actually invoking that method and we see if the method is returning true or not so it's like saying that i expect true from this method so i'm going to pass two as input to this method and i expect that method will return true and this is what the entire uh, clause i am asking the my n unit framework to test so here i am asking the n unit to assert whether it is giving me true or false and i am expecting true and i am expecting false here so uh, quickly we will will uh, execute that so delete this so i am first writing a small test case to just test the event remember i use assertion here so this is the standard class available so assert dot there is a method called as is true now when you open this there are multiple methods what i am using main is this boolean condition so we are not going into more details it could be like you can further with the help of bibliography you can uh, uh, go to documentation you can uh, explore further methods but here i am going to directly invoke the method so i am saying i am asserting the uh, whether the method which i am providing here will be returning true or not so the my method was a static method so i can access it by class name dot is even and here i'll pass a even number two is even okay let's do one thing we'll provide of pass a four so four is so this is a test case so now if i execute the test case would pass if this method call returns true so i'm asserting whether this is returning true or not if my assertion succeeds then it's indication of my test case being passed and indirectly it's the assertion that my method is working fine but at the same time as we have defined the method is even to return false if a number is not false so to properly ascertain if that method is perfectly wor working that method has to assert false when i pass a odd number so here i'll call is false now here if both the both the test cases pass then i can ascertain that my is even method implementation is as per the expectations 
So let me execute this. So I have two test methods. Let us call it a test method one and let us call this test method two. Save it and uh, build your pro solution after executing this. So I'll output okay, build successful. So warnings you can ignore here. And so now I need to execute this. So how do I execute? I don't, I, I'm not gonna run this program, remember. I need to execute the test cases. So to execute the test cases, open a end unit window here. So I am on the view menu and I'll go to tools. And when you go under tools here, you will find a menu called a unit test. Click on this. It opens a unit test window here at this here. Expand this. It will list out all the test cases which are written. Test method one and test method two. So now you want to execute both the all the test cases present in this. You click on this green uh, double arrow, double execute button. Click on this, it executes test cases. If both the test cases have passed, then it will show you in a green uh, colored buttons that both the test cases have passed. So here, let us suppose here if I pass, instead of four, I'm passing a value three. So I'm just saying, I, actually I am testing something uh, very uh, odd uh, configuration here, but just to show you an output like what would happen if this assertion fails. So it is expecting true. And will this give a true? As per our implementation, this won't give a true. So what happens here is uh, this test case would fail. So now given the change, so earlier it was four, I made it to three. Given this change, if I execute unit test cases once again, you can see that test method one has failed, but two has executed. Okay, so it also points out. So sometimes uh, you can also uh, give us some message. So this message appears in as a debug message. So you can see like what happens if I get, so for some uh, standard reporting in analytics, developers are always required to give proper message here. But I'm just putting a generic message to see like what exactly happens with that message. Okay, no, 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 and I, I don't want to execute this. So go to unit test and execute here. Okay, you can see that. So this method appears here. So this for many automated testing frameworks, when you execute your application in a continuous integration and deployment pipelines, this method might have a lot of hidden meaning and a lot of configuration and another further ch sequence of chain events may be dependent on this methods. So th that's the role of this method here. Okay, so we'll come back to normal one. Is six seven number? Yes. Okay, so now if I execute, fine, it will execute both. You can find the both they have turned on. You can even execute a single test case as well. So you can select this and you can only select this as well. So single test case method two can run. So in short, this is, is a N unit testing framework. So you by now you might have uh, had a fair idea like what exactly is unit testing and uh, how we can uh, unit test uh, C sharp applications. So uh, what do you think like you, you have watched this and you have uh, done something uh, background work on unit testing or testing. So what do you think? What, what, how do you think a unit testing framework could be beneficial to a .NET developer? So yes, the answer is once again the same. Like uh, what we do here is uh, this testing frameworks help .NET developers execute methods without even uh, making sure the entire module or entire application is completed. So generally what we do is we have an application we split it into modules and uh, assume without any unit testing, you will be only able to test the application only after the entire application is done. So which has to wait for all modules to complete its execution and all. But uh, by using unit testing frameworks, what advantage we get is we did not wait for all other modules to complete. We can test every module individually. And this all depends upon what's the method signature, what, this is, what, what are the assertion uh, class which you have seen. We only asserted a Boolean conditions. But those as, that assert class is too long and there are a lot of other methods. So I can show you here. For example, assert is false. So there are these all are a very big set of uh, assertion methods. So you can also see what it contains. Does it throw, fail, false? There are multiple, there's a plethora of methods which let developer test a variety of uh, modules with a variety of written numbers. Okay. So the, for a further reading, you can refer Microsoft documentation. 
and uh, for a detailed and better understanding of n unit and all the intricacies of unit testing especially n unit framework i would uh, refer you to go through n unit documentation and uh, and if you need a even more better introduction of unit testing and what exactly it is the two element based definitions of uh, unit testing uh, refer to wikipedia okay so that's it for this video thank you